Napoleon was genius, but not every genius man make wise decisions sometime. In this video, you will come to know some of the Napoleon's decisions which tend to be disastrous. Starting from number 5, Forgiving Talleyrand. Talleyrand was foreign minister of Napoleon Bonaparte. Due to his corruption and his connections with Austrians and Russians, Napoleon sometimes derated him publicly by calling him a shit in a silk stocking and adding that he could break him like a glass, but it's not worth the trouble. Strangely enough, Napoleon thought that it was the end of the conflict and continued seeking services of the Talleyrand, but he had left a snake. Talleyrand passes crucial information to Austrians and Russians during the war. Surprisingly, Napoleon never took serious or strict action against the Talleyrand, even having the information about his corruption. According to uh, my perception, Napoleon might be uh, thinking that it would be more dangerous for him. When Napoleon fell in 1814, Talleyrand supported Bourbons as decided by the Allies. Number 4. Invading Spain A long, unnecessary guerrilla struggle which wore down Napoleon's forces from 1808 to 1814. By 1807, France was at peace with her neighbors except Britain. This war began when Napoleon wishes to invade Portugal to prevent it from trading with Britain. In the process of invading Portugal, Napoleon was also involved in the uh, succession issues ending up by placing his own brother Joseph Bonaparte on the Spanish throne by the Spanish people and they started a guerrilla warfare against the forces of Napoleon in Spain. As this was an act of nepotism by a man famous for meritocracy, this was also a blunder. Number 3. Invasion of Russia Having defeated Russians in Germany, Napoleon was confident of victory over Russians. His first mistake was invading Russia at all because the aim was to prevent it from trading Britain and uh, this strengthened the bond between British and Russians because both were eager to destroy Napoleon. With his grand army of 6 million men, Napoleon entered Russia but was failed to achieve any decisive victory because Russians were kept retreating and refused to fight. Napoleon thought that uh, uh, occupying Moscow would force uh, Russians to come on terms but he was wrong and Russians burned down the Moscow. A combination of weather, disease, desertion and guerrilla attacks reduced his forces to less than 80,000 men. Number 2. Continental Blockade In 1807, Napoleon got an idea to destroy the economy of Great Britain by imposing a continental blockade which means no ships from England or any English colony would be allowed at any harbour of the Europe. Though this blockade was capable of carrying substantial strategic difficulties for Britain as uh, wheat prices increases from 60% but uh, Britishers were not only who were going to face the burnt of this blockade but Europeans also affected so the manufacturers uh, soon found themselves cut off by the raw material. When the British exports fell approximately 13% then the French empire declined by 27%. This was a disastrous measure taken by Napoleon because this not only affect the economy of uh, France but also the people of France became against the policies of Napoleon. One, Waterloo. After his escape from Elba, the first battle which Napoleon fought against English and Prussian army which was led by Duke of Wellington and General Blücher, in this battle Napoleon was defeated badly. Historian Andrew argued in his recent book Napoleon alive that uh, Waterloo was a battle which Napoleon could have won easily at least the younger Napoleon. Napoleon left his best general Louis Nicolas Davout back in Paris to head the war department instead of bringing him along to fight. General Davout was a man who defeated the whole Prussian army of nearly 63,000 men with only one core of the army. Another major cause 
of this defeat was not using infantry or artillery support. It seems odd that uh, an obsessive micromanager like Napoleon can overlook such aspects of the battle. So these were the blunders by Napoleon which uh, contributed in his fall. I hope you liked the video and most of the facts are from this book Napoleon A Definitive Biography by Emil Ludwig.